Hello, hello again and welcome back to another small tutorial. And uh, this time I will take the this uh, old robot uh, full automat star 2 uh, which has problem with the slow gear and uh, this is just an experiment to see how it will go by cleaning without uh, disassemble too much. But we need some tools. So just zoom out a little. Um, we need some tool to disassemble the camera. I mean to going into the actual shutter. So um, let me show how it works. Go. It's set on one twenty. What? 125 and it goes pretty good but if I set it to something at 30 nah I mean 60 it will uh, not really working very good and it will be even worse if I go to 115 and uh, everything will be stuck so I put it back to 135 no 25 so <clears throat> and um, well we need some uh, tools of course a tweezer is very handy some lighter fluid with a serine needle on and of course some very thin oil sewing machine oil and I would like to try to uh, use some Loctite uh, MOS2 anti friction coating. I sprayed in a container. <clears throat> this is just the Loctite, uh, which is uh, our anti friction coating. And I think it should work pretty good. Well, um, and also a tool. So I modified a tool to actually take out the, the um, <coughs> get rid of the, the film container here, <coughs> the take up spool. Well, <coughs> you see, there are some uh, nuts. I think it's called here. Yeah, it's kind of a knot around the screw. Uh, there, there are four of them, and you cannot just use a a flathead screwdriver to unscrew them. So I took a just a this is a PH one, which I actually modified uh, so it has two small pins. And it works pretty good. It's four millimeter in diameter, <coughs> and uh, so I have filed and grinded <coughs> just with a grinder, so it actually fit on the the actual uh, two notches on each side, and then I can unscrew it nice and easy. So it will look like this, as you probably can see. It's good with a magnetic screwdriver. <laughs> uh, so there, and it fits very good. So it's very easy to unscrew uh, those uh, nuts. Mm -hmm. There we go. I've never seen the the correct tool they use. Oh, ready to go. Uh, oh, it's down there. So here, and then take off the the cover here. <clears throat> and also on the other side C 
so. I have to modify it a little. Well, some major, some minor details. So there. Because then, <clears throat> and then the the cover here for the um, for the other side is very handy with dentist tools because they are very good steel and easy to come around with small areas. Now the whole thing here, which is in one decast aluminium. One have to lift up the uh, the advance. Uh, I, I don't know actually what it called, but advance um, handle there, and uh, probably pull it a little more. And then one can actually just lift up the whole thing and uh, bend it a little there, and here it comes off actually a very good uh, job for casting decasting uh, things <clears throat> now and then we're actually into the shutter and the whole uh, yeah the shutter and the advance uh, part <clears throat> which uh, is an actually an old way of uh, making a motor in a camera so when you press the button it will just advance to the next picture and it can take I think it's around 12 pictures in one if you advance the uh, motor so here we are and then press the button But how does it actually look if we take it with a higher speed camera? Uh, so I uh, have actually used my um, my uh, Lumix camera here, <coughs> which is a uh, DMC TZ40, which can take 200 pictures as high speed video. And I set the the robot camera to the 120, like here, as you can see on the. No, it's difficult to see. Yeah, it says on one 125, and the camera here, <coughs> my Lumix, is set to 200 frames per second. So let's see how it actually look if I um, just show it here. If I push the button and everything goes pretty fast. So you cannot really see what's going on. But let's see how it looks if I do the exact same thing on a um, on my high speed camera. Well, not really high speed, but yeah, it is more than 25 seconds, <laughs> picture per second. So let's see how it goes.
So you probably can see there is, uh, I mean, there was no sound on the um, high speed video. But uh, I hope it, it gives a kind of, of um, I mean, better insight of uh, what's actually happened. But if I set it to, for example, 30, 1, 30 second, uh, the camera will actually get uh, stuck. So how could we actually do um, some cleaning or whatever? I would think, because I don't want to disassemble the whole thing, so I would just try to see if I can um, use some lighter fluid and add around here not in the whole section but just a, a um, few part of it I may be, maybe be wrong doing in that way but this is just an experiment because everything seems really stuck so <clears throat> I will just use a small cloth uh, and put in here so everything does not get that wet uh, with lighter fluid and uh, hopefully it it will it will work <laughs> sometimes one has to do some experiment and just see how it will go And just have the camera like this and um, I know I have to loop some parts but still it's just an experiment so I will just uh, add some around here just a few drops it should be more than enough so let's see how it will go Maybe it's the wrong part. I put a lighter fluid on. So Maybe it can help. Hmm. actually happen here I mean what's what is actually the part that gets really stuck Well, <clears throat> maybe it's not the correct uh, way of doing it, but I will just add some of this uh, MOS2 anti-friction thing. Just a few. Just a few small parts somewhere where I think is I should add it 
And again, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe it's a good idea to blend it with some uh, lighter fluid. There's also the the escapement or slow gear that needs some just a little drop. It could also be that the camera is a bit worn out. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like there is something about the... maybe the blade. It looks like something is is a bit stuck somewhere. Some parts uh, looks like they are really, uh, what you say, dry. But uh, just give it a small loop here to see if. here maybe somebody else better can understand what or can tell
this gear here. So that is the main, this part here. So when I press the button, it will go there, but it will not go all the way over. So what's happened? I think it missed some oil here. And So, it grabbed my tool. <laughs> okay. Well, I took a closer look at this uh, camera. And it seems like there is uh, one blade is actually worn out. This blade here, there's a lot of marks on, and it's a bit bended. And uh, it's actually one of the things that uh, make the the camera not working proper, especially on the slow slow speeds. So, uh, but it worked fine on on 125 125 but on 60 it simply gets stuck so uh, yeah so it is so uh, it's a it's an old camera so there's not not really and uh, there is also other signs that uh, tells it's a bit worn out one of the gear here uh, like here it's uh, it's a bit um, yeah worn out on the teeth so uh, there's not nothing really I can do about it so yeah shame to set so but one cannot be lucky every time so I'll just put it back in again and uh, say that's all for for this camera I'm sure they had a had have an interesting life so um, but now it's yeah so it is but maybe you uh, have got some at least some insight in this uh, different camera or what you need to actually disassemble part of it. Oh, come on, autofocus. And the P. 
plate here goes in here so Oh, I have to find just this uh, this screwdriver, so it also can be used for other tasks. But I made it specifically for this camera, so um, oh, the roll has to come in. So it is, hmm. but uh, on 125, it, there's still kind of life in this camera. So that was uh, all for me from now, so uh, bye bye.